Hello, everybody, for the second time today. How are you doing? Got a few people in here. Just going to bide some time for others to join in us. Join us. There we go. Looks like some people are coming in. I know we were on earlier today for what was supposed to be the hearing. What a disappointment, huh? So I thought we'd come on for a little bit tonight for those who couldn't join us earlier and talk about the day's events. And, um, you know, just get together and chat, answer questions. I bet. So let's see who we have here tonight. Melissa, end of the month. Yep. Just Deb. Hello. Jill, how are you? Andrea's here. Deborah's here. Hey, lady and everyone. <laughs> um, I'm too tired. It made for a long day once in there just for three minutes. Oh, I bet. I bet. And Andrea, boy, she's got it. Was everybody shocked by today's news? I don't think anybody mentioned this as an option. We should have thought of it, but didn't. I'm breaking up my ice cubes in my cup. Um, I'm trying all kinds of different things to get this headache to go away. So, uh, let's see here. Just Deb says she was there. Yep. Judy's here. Hello. Connemara, hello. How are you? Coach Kev, how you doing? Yeah, Delphi equals chaos. You got that right. Hi, Randy. How are you, honey? So glad you're here out of the hospital. Hope you're doing better. Stories from the Stone says, I'm listening tonight, laughing out loud. I'm so glad. Um, I thought about going up there and glad I didn't. That would have been a long drive for three minutes. Yes. Doing good, Randy says. Oh, good. I'm so glad. I'm so glad. So, I'm sure everybody's heard. Today's hearing did not go as planned. So, um... Richard Allen's attorney, Baldwin, put it in writing that he was quitting. He did have his own attorney there today at the hearing. And when the judge finally came out, she said that both attorneys had quit. So not only Baldwin, but Rossi. So... That was not something we all saw coming. Not at all. We figured the judge was going to give him a what for, a tongue lashing, tell him not to do it again, or sanction them. But for them to downright quit before anything could happen, did not see that coming. Not at all. Baldwin attorney told Kay to say, stay strong. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Well, she can't dismiss them if they quit first. So maybe they had a premonition of what was coming. And versus going through what she would have done to them, they quit first.
Yeah, we all thought the judge was going to fire him and dismiss him. Hey, James, how are you doing? So, court was supposed to start at 2 o'clock today. Um, that didn't happen. Oh, credit. I didn't want to remove it. I want to show it. So, what happened today is that at 2.02, the guards are milling around outside the courtroom, uh, waiting for Richard Allen to be brought into the courtroom. We're told the judge will enter 10 minutes later and start the proceedings. 2.15 p.m., attorneys have entered the courtroom. We appear, appear to be close to starting. Now, this is all from Wish TV. 2.29 the judge has entered the courtroom and the hearing has begun. 2.30. The judge announces that Allen's attorneys has, have confirmed with the court that they are withdrawing from the case. Allen is not in the courtroom and has been transported back. It says to Carroll County, but that's wrong. It's to the prison. The judge is discussing a new trial date. So then, I love this one. Talk about a major boo-boo in your title. This happened today. They must have been in a hurry. Nobody proofread it. Richard Allen's court heart canceled after defense team withdraws from case. <laughs> We all do it. I'm laughing with them, not at them, because I've done the same thing in titles. I've made mistakes. But yes, Richard Allen's court hearing was canceled after the defense team withdraws. Becky was there today. Kelsey was there today. Um... Rick Allen's wife was there today, and so was his mother. Now, we heard through Court TV reporters that Rick Allen's wife came in crying, sat in the front row, and then they escorted her out shortly after that. His mother came back in into the courtroom, got their jackets, and they weren't seen after that. Oh, it's not going to even be July or August. I can guarantee you that, Randy. So what does this mean? This means we start all over. Now, Rick Allen does not have the funds to pay an attorney. So they have to appoint new attorneys for him. So that means he's going to get new attorneys that work for the state that don't get paid for this or are paid very little by the state. And what this means is that those attorneys have to meet with Rick Allen. They have to request all of the discovery in the case, go through all of those documents and that information. They have to find their own experts, okay? They're going to have to do their own depositions. It's, it's starting all over. You know, and, and this is not something that they're going to be able to do quickly. Now, the judge did say today that she encouraged Rossi and Baldwin to help the new attorneys catch up to speed if they would like. They don't have to, but they can if they want to. So... I'm guessing that this trial will not happen until probably 2025. 
look at how long it's taken for the defense team that he had. They were still asking for discovery information. They still didn't get everything. And it's been a year. So if all these folks were there, the re re resign last minute, I suppose. Yeah, I'm assuming so. Well, we know Baldwin brought his own attorney. He knew he was in hot water. So, uh, and he did his in, in writing already. So I'm sure she knew that. I don't think what she planned on was that Rossi was going to also withdraw. So, so many people have passed away that have had direct or peripheral connection. Yeah. It is sad. It's been wrapped in sadness since day one. Hi, Christy. How are you doing? Hannah was there. Barbara was there. Several YouTubers were there. Let's hope that the state isn't slow on giving the evidence as they were this time. Correct. Okay, so Doug Carter, okay, and to Tober, Tony. Yeah, I, you never know what TL. Hiawatha says, I think all attorneys have to agree to at least one pro bono case during their career. Yep. I'm sure it's more than one. I'm surprised that some high-profile attorneys haven't asked to represent RA in order to gain public praise or whatever. Well, I don't think this team got public praise. I This is the part that bothers me the most, is that this is going to be drawn out even longer for the families. I hope this time they stop the leak on the case or make it a gag order. On There was a gag order. There was a gag order. That's the worst part. The hearing was supposed to be about going into the hearing on October 31st, what their plans were. And then they were, the big elephant in the room was they were going to discuss the leaks from the defense and their... Um, What's the word I'm looking for? Team members. Yeah, the defense, the state was still turning over discovery just last week. And yes, the judge did say Rossi was going to put in his written withdrawal in just a couple days. So... He'll make it. He'll make it. Hi, Bev. Not too late, so we're good. Tony, okay. Heinous, sir, evil. Had to take a weird call. Yeah, today's, today's hearing was an emergency hearing. And she figured, okay, if we're having an emergency hearing, we're just going to go over some fine details for the 31st, and then we'll get into the meat and potatoes, which was the leaked evidence. And if the defense attorneys were responsible for it, how was she going to handle it? Was she just going to admonish them, say, bad boys, don't do it again, like she did the first time? Or was she actually going to put sanctions in effect, and fire them from the case. He was there, but nobody nobody saw him because he wasn't actually on camera. Um, Just Deb says Julie Melvin was there. Hiawatha says MS Frank Meister. Yep. And I have to say a special thank you to Vid Inquiries because Vid Inquiries drove there from Ohio, but
but couldn't make it in. She didn't get it there in time to make it inside. So she was outside and she was doing video, which she allowed alive on her channel, which she allowed me to stream on our channel. Um, so I really appreciate that. Um, I have not heard that. I have not heard that. Necessary says, hello, Marv. How are you feeling this morning? Not so good. These headaches keep plaguing me. Um, but I'm trying to push through them. I pretty much slept today, except for when I've been on with you guys. Yeah, Melissa, that's the worst part. Anybody who drove a long distance for this hearing to only sit in there for three minutes. Oh, heartbreaking. Exactly, Dana. Feels so bad for those families. Hi, Shane. How are you? So now I've heard a few rumors going through the rumor mill already. Um, so digital, I wouldn't be surprised if that's one of them. I also heard that Rossi is not withdrawing. As so many things are going through. So I'm not putting any of that in stone until I hear it officially. So I want you guys to realize, okay, so the defense brings in experts, investigators, you know, all kinds of team members to help them with their case. It was one of these team members that leaked the information. Now, the question was, did Rossi and Baldwin know that he leaked the information? If there was a correlation there, then Rossi and Baldwin could be held accountable for it. If this person just did it on their own, they didn't know about it, that's another thing. Okay. We don't know what this person was thinking. We've heard that this person took this really hard, regretted their decision, and unalived themselves which is so sad, so, so sad. Um, yes, Doug Carter was there, Tony Leggett was there. Yeah, I think all of our thoughts tonight are with Becky, Kelsey, Mike, the whole German family, Anna, the whole Williams family, you know, they have been on such an up and down roller coaster since this happened, but especially since Richard Allen was arrested. And to think that you're finally going to get somewhere in that trial you're just months away from a trial, and then to have something like this happen is just earth-shattering to them. It really is. And the reason it's earth-shattering is because with the trial starting, actual start date, knowing that it's going to happen, you know that the end is coming. Okay? And you know that... Once that finality happens, your life is going to change again. You know, for six years, they've been fighting to find somebody. Well, now they found somebody. So now they're fighting for, for a conviction and hoping the prosecution can get them a conviction you know, so they they see that end line coming, and now that's all wiped away because they know they got to start over. So by having that finality of 
the trial ending. They can complete their grieving process. They can look forward and focus on their lives, their family, and not this case. So, for example, Tabitha Shuck Rain's case, Mark, her stepfather, has flat out said that he would love to move to Arkansas to be closer to his family, but he can't do that until we get justice for Tabitha because he will never start stop fighting for that. That's one example. You want a more profound case? Natalie Holloway. Look at what her mom said. If you haven't went and listened to her mother's interview after that hearing yesterday, go listen to it. She said it's finally over. It's closed. We now know what happened to Natalie. To me, she is getting her justice, even though they cannot have him arrested for murder. Because in Aruba, Aruba has a 12-year statute of limits on murder. It's been 18. But Natalie Holloway's mom did say this is finality for her. It's closed. It's over. She's getting her justice by him having to add more years to his sentence in Peru. She knows what happens to her daughter. They'll never get Natalie back, but she's accepted that. So it does make a big difference to these families, you guys. It really does. That's that's what my point is. makes a big difference to them when all of this is done and over and they can say it's finally over. We can start putting one foot in front of us and moving on with what was supposed to be our lives and not the fight for justice for their loved ones. Yeah, you will have something to talk about at the walk, Randy, that's for sure. Um, Bonnie, Doug, and Tony, okay. Snay was not there. No, he said he was going to watch it on online. They may have them do that for the first 15 minutes. Um, but I'm sure that they prepared him for this. I'm sure they did. I'm sure that the prison is just, if they are doing this, it's just as a precaution. Was hoping when I visited for the trial, hopefully there will be a walk when I'm there, Randy. Well, if not necessary evil, I'm sure that Randy would take you out there. He's nice that way. I have cluster migraines. That could be what's going on with it. Could be because right now it is all in the back of my head and my neck. I will try that. Um, let's see. So the walk is this Saturday at 1230. I will not be there. <laughs> I'm going to miss this one, but I'll be back next year. Um, Baldwin said he was pe betrayed. Where did I see that? We'll have to wait and see what he says. I don't know exactly when the photos were leaked, but it's been for a, a couple weeks now.
I would assume they visit Melissa. I mean, we've heard his attorney say about his wife going to talk to him there. So yes, I know that his 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 wife does, and I'm sure his mom does too. Did the team member le that leaked this work for the PI? Anyone hear anything from JJ? Not yet. Now, I've heard he was a PI. He was an investigator, and I've heard other things. I've heard that he actually wasn't working with him specifically on this case, but happened to see a photo on a phone or something and took a photo of it and shared it. I don't know. It was a trusted friend of Baldwin whom he allowed to use. Oh, okay. Well, that goes along with what I heard then. When they came in to get Ari's wife, she left and his mom just started bawling. Yeah, I heard they were both crying. You know, our hearts have to go out to these two women also. Ari's wife and his mom. They're... They're... Victims just in a way as as the families are of the girls. These two women, you know, they they love this man. They love him. And they should. That is their husband and that is their son. And just because your son may allegedly have done something awful doesn't mean you stop loving him and supporting him. And his wife seems to feel the same way. So my my heart is with them also. And my thoughts and prayers are with all, everyone involved. Both families and Ari's family also. Should we agree the new defense will have to get six and a half months to get to grips with the evidence? Well, exactly, just to get to grips with evidence. And then they have to come up with a plan. They have to find um, experts and everything. So it, I don't know that this is going to happen in 2024. If it does, it's going to be late 2024. Does the family honestly believe that Ari did this? I haven't heard them say either way. Well, Christy, they're under a gag order. So they're not talking out of... out of the fact that they just don't want to say something wrong and get anybody in trouble, get themselves in trouble. Um, they know what we know. So I don't know whether they believe it was him or not. I'm sure some media outlets will interview the attorneys. I wonder if they quit before they got fired or if it was real. It was the totality of BS involved in the case. I honestly think that Baldwin quit before he got fired. No, the families have never come out and said that it accused Richard Allen. This is the police saying that it was Richard Allen. Now, I'll talk more about my thoughts on all that tomorrow night. Um, I know I've given a lot of time to Tabitha's story, and it's going to stay that way, but I'm still always reading, thinking, and looking at everything when it comes to this case, I am not convinced that Richard Allen is Bridge Guy. I can tell you that, but I'll talk about more of that tomorrow. Yeah, it was 12, it's been 12 months and this defense team still didn't have all the evidence. Yeah. I 
Uh, let's see. At least he admitted to it. It's sad they'll never be able to have a bur Yes, you're talking about Natalie Holloway. A lot of people I've talked to were like, well, how do we know that this is the actual true story? They did a polygraph, and he finally passed his polygraph. And that was part of the plea, that if he did not pass the polygraph, he would not get the plea deal. So he had to tell the truth. Um, hey, Connor, how you doing? Melissa wants to know if it's supposed to be rainy and cold. <laughs> Randy says, I hope not. Um, oh, yeah, necessary evil. There's a bunch of people that would be glad to take you out there. Yes, Shane, I thought of that too. I think I'm going to pull out the massage gun and try that on my neck. I know I always go to the walks, but not this one. Well, that's the big, that's the big question. Why would they step down if they were innocent in the leaks? I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm thinking this is what was going to happen at least with Baldwin that she was going to remove him because of this and he quit instead. I'm sure they talked to him and his his wife, yes, and told him what was going on. I'm sure that they prepared her somewhat for it and him more so. Yeah, I've I've got some theories, you guys. Um and I'll I'll come out, I promise, tomorrow night when we do talk about, you know, the Delphi Dump show, I will I will talk about them. I promise. I have always said I thought it was more than one person. I'm sticking with that. I do not think it was Richard Allen on the bridge. I'm sticking with that. But I'll explain more why. And I've always said that Ron Logan was not bridge guy, but he could not be taken off of my list either. And I'll explain more of that tomorrow. Why would anyone want to leak the crime scene photos? Because so much has been kept from the public and in their brain, they think if they leak this piece of information, it'll get things moving faster. And it doesn't, it really doesn't. Hey, Phil, how are you? My friend lives a block from Ari's parents and was on the phone with her and asked her to go check to make sure no one was harassing. Good. I'm glad, Mimi. Um, yes, please ask your friend just to keep an eye on them. We do not need anything happening to his parents or them being harassed. Melissa, I already answered that question. I do not know. I bet prosecution is so happy they have more time <laughs> to hide things. Try to find more evidence. Maybe try to find more evidence. But you can bet that this time around, the judge has seen their scheming ways of trying to hold evidence and not give them discovery. And she's, she's going to put a date on it because she wants this to go to trial. At least if I was her, that's what I would do. Say, okay, we're starting over. 
here's your new appointed attorneys, prosecution. You have until this date to hand everything in discovery over to the defense team. And if you do not hand them everything, you will be fined. That's what I would do if I was her. Um, hello, CJK. Nice to see you. Yeah, I think we're all in agreement that our hearts break for the families. Absolutely. It's heartbreaking for everyone involved, both sides, their families. Exactly. What do you mean you still have a ghost in the in Delphi, Randy? People touching you again? Are you hearing people again? CJK says, I believe he's BG and there's more evidence against him other than the little bit we've heard. Connor, I am right with you right there. Exactly. That is how I feel. He may have had involvement, but he wasn't BG. Um, <laughs> Digital. Oh, you make me laugh. I'm not even convinced BG is BG. And you know what? Here in this space on my channel, it's okay for us to have different opinions. I encourage it. If everybody agreed with everybody, things would be boring. We wouldn't be able to look outside the box, think of things on different levels, and throw out different options and scenarios. So all I ask is that if you have a different opinion than somebody else in chat, that you treat them respectfully when you when you speak to them in chat, you know, and debate things, absolutely, but do it respectfully. Um, Graham Tom Tam says, "I'm coming to the walk. I'm sorry, I'm going to miss you." Uh, let's see. My gut tells me he's BG, but as a true crimer, the evidence is what matters. Very true. Doesn't really matter what you and I think, huh? What matters is what the evidence tells us and what the jury has to follow. That's what matters. If I was a juror, I don't think I'd be able to convict on what they have given so far. On what they've given so far, absolutely not. Because the prosecution hasn't given much of anything. Um, it's mad the difference in opinion with people's opinions. I value from years of chats. Yeah. I believe 100% it can be proven that part BG played. Others, I don't know. I always thought Lone Wolf, but I not bet on it either. <laughs> not, I wouldn't bet on anything in this case. Freckle Joy, come join us. Come join me tomorrow, and I'll tell you all about it. Hi, Heather. How you doing? It's not what I see that makes me feel he was on the bridge. It's what I heard. Well... Just remember, until we know the true facts, what you hear can be distorted. 
We all know how the telephone game is played, right? I give digital a couple sentences to say. He passes it on to the next person, changes one or two words. That person passes it on to another person, changes a couple words. And before you know it, what I said is not what the last person has heard. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Maybe I'll change your mind. I think innocent in the leaks and careless with the evidence are two different things. Yes, I agree. I'm not saying Ron is BG because I do not believe Ron is BG. I don't think Ari is BG either. Uh, let's see. Yeah, and I agree with you, digital. Nobody's going to be completely correct. There are some, especially one creator duo that seems to be involved in everything and make, yeah, I would agree with you there. Um, Mothers of Dragon, thank you. I've heard of that. Um, when I go see my doctor next, I'm going to have to talk to him about it because they just keep getting... They go in cycles, and the cycle is bad. Process his own farm animals for a few other fellows did as well. Definitely a person with hunting skills. They would be fast at doing what they did. I believe a few people was involved. Um, nice to see you, Laura D. Maybe they need a new prosecutor. I don't think he's going to give this up. It's going to have to be taken from them. I also believe I knew who was involved. I just feel if you catch my drift. I don't know if my brain will allow me to catch your drift. So you, you may have to elaborate more. Feel free to email me. There's the email address. Um... I never thought Bridge Guy looked like Richard, and I'm not sure he ever admitted to being Bridge Guy. No, he did not admit to being Bridge Guy. Very good point, Tina. Mine's not far flung. I can promise you that. Yeah, I'm not going to tell you that. Good gracious. Um, uh, got a kick out of the telephone game, huh? <laughs> I got some laughing out louds there. Um, meant the voice heard in the video, but he could have been behind them. Yep. And not the man seen. Yep. Could have been the lookout. Could have been a lot of things. I will be on tomorrow at 8 p.m. Eastern time. I've thought about that too, Christy. Stress headaches. That could very well be. Um, interesting. This is a funny one, but BG has always looked like Tobe to me. I guess that is why he was interviewed so, so many times. Bonnie says, Tobe is BG. <laughs> 
He never admitted to it at all. He admitted to being on the bridge looking for fish or checking stocks. That's all. Yep. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty well versed with technology and audio, and other than being recorded on a phone, I can assure you the voice wasn't. It was muffled, possibly by her putting the phone in her pocket to hide it. That would be awesome. Take your body off, put a new one on. Fish is used by several men. It's also in the, huh. Computer generated, okay. So, yeah, that's where we're at, ladies and gentlemen. We're starting over from scratch. You would think so, but everybody's got data on their phones. Did they have data back then? I'm sure they did. So, yeah, so my question is, who in the area, what lawyers are in the area, er, surrounding areas within my, or um, an hour and a half to two hours away? Because you can't have attorneys that are too far away because there's a lot of traveling they have to do. And look at Rossi and Baldwin. They are already complaining that it was too far away. So, what, what attorneys are in that, in that area that could be appointed to Richard Allen? Anybody got any ideas? I guess that'll be our research, but we're not going to have to wait too long because Judge Gull did say today that she thinks that they will be able to appoint new attorney by the October 31st hearing, and she's going to keep that hearing. So... Yes. Funny that he, he was looking at the fish in a case that involved catfishing to whatever extent it was. Exactly. Well, I'm in Wisconsin, so you and I probably aren't going to be, be picking out attorneys for Indiana, right? They should be contacting... Parazo Law School or Heavy Hitter from Indy. So, yeah. Wisconsin sisters, all right. All right. Do you know if Tobe has a purple PT cruiser? I do not. I wish we could 
look up DMV records. That would be cool. That would be awesome. But we're not there yet. Sluice can't do that. Yeah, they're still talking. Okay, you guys are still talking about the PT Cruiser and Tobe. Who knows? Don't know if... Okay, I got to go back and catch Just Deb's other... Somehow. I missed it. Oh, the PT... Okay, PT Cruiser. Gotcha. Yeah, there's not a lot of lawyers that are death penalty qualified in that whole part. You know, Baldwin and, and Rossi were two of them. So you're down to, what, four? So, and what happens if, well, it's not like they can really reject the case either. They're, this is what they do, you know. They work pro bono and they take on death penalty cases. Could be a rumor, could be true. We just don't know. Not at this point. Are we talking about Tobe or Liggett? I have a feeling someone private's going to help offer. Their help. Well, anybody can help the defense as long as the defense accepts it, right? Yeah, see, a bunch of people are saying they heard... He had a PT Cruiser too. <laughs> oh. Interesting. Just making sure I didn't miss any comments here. All right, I think I am caught up. Well, I want to thank everybody who joined me earlier. Those of you who joined me this evening. And um, those who are going to watch the replays, please click the thumbs up button. Show me some love. Leave me some comments. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave it there. And we'll see what happens between now and the 31st. And if you're interested in my theories, come join us tomorrow night. I'll tell you all about them. Thanks for joining. Thanks, Shane. Yeah, I'm going to go pretty much go back to bed, guys. So um, I have got to work tomorrow no matter what. So you're welcome. <laughs> I love this. I heard there's some upside down pineapples in the sheriff's department. Now I know of one. <laughs> so I want you guys to all have a good night. Um, 
just relax. We'll work through this. We always do. Stay curious and stay safe. I will do that. I promise. All right, everybody. I will talk to you soon. Bye.